Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kyle, and I have no idea what this is. Okay, I have a little idea of what this is, because the title of the game, Fuga Melodies of Steel 2, or is it Fuga 2 Melodies of Steel? That I actually don't know. All I know is I accidentally clicked on a trailer for this game. I was not aiming for this game. I was trying to click on a trailer for a different game. I clicked on a trailer for this game, and immediately the combat in these giant tank-like machines reminded me a lot of Ring of Red. Does anyone remember Ring of Red? Here, take a look. This was Ring of Red way, way back in the day. So, does, does anyone remember Ring of Red, or am I the only one? Anyhow, I was a really big fan of Ring of Red. I had fun with it. I thought it was a good game, and I haven't really seen anything quite like it since, but this kind of looked similar. And so I said, you know what? I'm bored tonight. Let's give it a try, and why not record it? So, this is Fuga 2 Melodies of Steel. I have no idea what the game is actually about. It's evidently a sequel, and so I know I've never heard of it before. I don't know what part one was like. I, I know nothing. I'm jumping into this completely blind. When saving, an icon will appear. Okay. See? Ring of Red. <laughs> Wait, what? They seem friendly. Not really, anyway. Oh, are they? Uh, that was not. No, no, it can't be true. That that was a different. Hey, look, it's Kyle. I'm in the game, folks. Okay, they are not speaking English. How could this happen? How could what happen? Looks like a big gun. Oh, it got even bigger. <laughs> okay, no. I don't know who Mai is. I mean, I can say that none of this looks good. Okay, that was a bit of a confusing intro, but not having seen the first game at all. Okay, sometime earlier. Pharaoh, central metropolis of Gascow. Mm. How far could the Tyrannus have gone? It's not like something that that huge could stay hidden out of sight. Mm. Could say the same about this hunk of junk. Man, it feels like a bad dream being in here. Hmm. I never would have imagined we'd be chasing after the Tyrannus in a Berman tank. Me neither. The children chased... The children chased tirelessly, endlessly, after the Tyrannus. Okay. The same Tyrannus they used to save their loved ones in the fight against Berman. Is it just me or does it look like the tank is walking? Like, if you blur your eyes and don't look at the treads, it looks more like the tank is walking to me. Their pursuit is aided by the Tarascus, a Berman tank they once subdued themselves. 
Ah, okay. So this is an enemy tank that they took for themselves. Can't this thing go any faster? Self-repair, okay. Limited functionality. We don't seem to be moving very quickly at all. Like, trail of tracks uh, left by the treads of the Tyrannus yet remain. Okay. Following them offer a high prob probability of catching up. Perfect. Uh, his voice still gives me the creeps. Whose voice? The robot voice? Uh oh, we got somebody else. That of a Berman tank. That's what I'm in, right? Certainly result in hostilities. Well, I don't see anywhere to turn around exactly, so let's keep it up. <clears throat> How are there still Berman tanks in Gaskow? They all should have crawled home with their tails between their legs ages ago. <laughs> Don't waste time thinking about that now. Battle stations, everyone! Okay, we're gonna fight right off the bat. I like the red alert sound. What does enable auto text? Let's just turn that on. Oh, never mind. It's just going to progress for me. No, wait. I don't want auto text. I, that got me shot. <laughs> Damn, they're firing on us. That might have been my fault for enabling the auto text. <laughs> oh, what is that thing? Nice little doll. I don't know if you should be here. What? Okay, so it's a similar type of tank, but has moss growing on it. It must be really quick. Unmanned autonomous. Okay, that's fine. What the heck is it? Well, I think he just told us what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I know we'll lose the Tyrannus if we don't send it packing. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, sure. Let's fight. Oh, look at that little itty-bitty thing. <laughs> Just run it over. Look at the size of it. Oh, no. Destroy your enemies with the three gun turrets on the giant tank Tarascus. Okay. Children. Wait, what? Children? Placed at a gun turret will attack with their skilled weapon type. I don't want any children on my tank. Why are there children on the tank? I'm guessing that's answered in the first game. What happened to the adults? So is it turn-based? Ring of Red was kind of a, uh, a time-based thing to where the enemy and you were on, on basically a countdown timer and whoever decided to fire first got to fire first, but you might have lower accuracy because you you didn't take enough time to, to aim properly. Uh, let's see if this is... So there's no mouse it seems. Uh, what about controller? Controller? Uh, not really? Okay. Well-balanced attack and accuracy. Select the grenade launcher. Bastard und. 100%. I can't aim anywhere else. Fire! Yeah. We hit that thing hard. What's the Sheena? Oh, Sheena is the person. Uh, analyze, select, confirm, cancel. What does analyze do? Its attack is slightly high, so try not to get hit. Delay its action by attacking with the weapon. By attacking with the weapon it's weak against. It will use pack attack. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, so this is Malt, a different child. High attack, but low accuracy and takes time to load. So it doesn't fire right away? Oh, it seemed to, and it seemed to obliterate them. Yeah, win a battle. S tier. I obtained a rusty barrel. I don't know if that's good or bad, and the results, experience points, and items can be obtained. Win the battle quickly to avoid receiving damage, earn more experience. Okay, that's that's kind mm. of a given. We managed to beat it. Everyone okay? Oh. Yeah. Looks like the Tarascus pulled through for us. 
It looks just like the Tyrannus. It's, uh... Manufactured for the purpose of controlling the Vanergand. I almost thought that said Vanguard, but it does not. According to my memories, I oversaw its creation during the invasion of Gascow. Or Gasco. Huh? Oh, okay. Yada yada. Huh. You say it like you're talking about someone else. It was all your fault, Hacks. Shoulder the blame. You know, the city's on fire. Our tank doesn't seem to be doing all that well. Let's not be mean to each other. I have his memories and knowledge, but I myself am not the one you knew as Hacks. Certainly not the one I knew as Hacks. I am merely an AI assimilated with the core of the Vanergand that happens to be here. Okay, I need to increase the text speed, <laughs> but I don't mm. know how. So you're kind of like Gene, Genie, back on the Tyrannus. I wish Socks was here. He'd be able to explain everything. You know what? That makes me wish Socks were here as well. And are those floating islands in the sky? I would show you with my cursor, but the mouse doesn't do anything, so... Oh. You got that right. We gotta hurry and catch up to them. <sighs> I don't get it. How did we even end up in this situation? I don't know, but let's get a move on. Or not. Wait, the war I was just in? A year has passed since the armistice was signed between Berman and Gascow, Gasco, bringing the war to an end. Which war? The one I was just in a second ago? I mean, everybody looks a heck of a lot happier. Did I beat the game? The children, no longer embroiled in bloody conflict, had each gone their separate ways to enjoy the peaceful lives they fought for. Okay. I mean, they do look happier. One day, the children received letters from the Gasco army requesting they convene in Pharaoh, the new capital city. Okay. Wow, that's a big blimp. 24 hours earlier. Hmm. It's been a year since the fighting ended. Yeah. Glad to see you're doing well. Mm. Same goes for all of you. I wish Jin and Wappa could be here, too. So, yeba. Oh, okay. They're not dead. They're just elsewhere. Jin's got his hands full overseeing the factory he inherited. Yo. And Wappa's been out roaming the open road. No one can get a hold of her, it seems. Uh. Figures. <laughs> nah. That certainly sounds like what they'd be up to. <laughs> it's been forever, Sheena. How's your mom doing? I've been worried about her. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, see, coming into this not knowing any of the backstory, I'm, I'm uh -huh. at a severe disadvantage. Looks like Chick and Hack might be coming late. <laughs> I can't wait till everyone shows up. Oh, I can hit space again to just show the text. While the children were chatting and reminiscing, Lieutenant Muscat of the Gasco Army arrived to offer her gratitude. We appreciate each of you coming all this way. I hate to interrupt your reunion, but would you mind coming with me? What? Oh, no problem at all, Lieutenant Muscat, eh. was it? Oh, Lieutenant Muscat, was it? That's right. Sorry to get right to it, but there's something I'd like you to see. <clears throat> Thought I imagine it might not stir up the greatest of memories for you all. Why? Why then? I don't want to see bad memory stuff. Ooh. That is a big tank. <laughs> Steel behemoth that had seen the children through the war loomed silently. <laughs> Is that the Tyrannus? Uh-oh, flashback. Oh, maybe not. I thought we already saw the... The present time. Oh, I'm super confused now. I thought we were just in the present and this was the past. Hostile tank approaching. Its signature matches that of the previous autonomous tank. Okay. Another one? Everyone, battle stations. Well, the first one oh. really didn't pose much of a problem. Roger, roger. 
This is the route progression screen. Various effects will occur when the Tarascus reaches an event waypoint. Okay, interesting. And I still can't move my cursor. Awesome. Battles occur at this waypoint. The number on the upper right represents the number of consecutive battles. So there'll be two consecutive battles. Then it looks like we get a Healy area. The Tarascus's HP is restored at this way waypoint. Hit points, obviously. There are other waypoints with various effects, so please check the help screen for more details. Advance, help, main menu. Okay, hold on. Oh, I cannot get over not being able to use... Uh, okay, first of all, I'm going to turn the voice volume down because... Oh, wait. Voice language. Japanese. French. Okay. Not many choices there. Is it possible, I wonder, to change... Oh, it is at the top. Changing the text speed too fast. Going back. Saving my changes. Uh, what's in the library? Characters. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's get back to it. Advance. Oh, I can't. Uh, I can't stop. The timeline at the top of the screen displays the action order. Uh, icon displayed under an enemy's hit points designates its weakness. Its weakness is time. Wait, what? Attack with a weapon of the same color. Wait, I can't aim at the other tank? That's a little annoying, but okay. If you attack with weapons of the same color like this, the enemy's action order will be delayed. How was that the same color? Oh, now I can change. Okay. So, I'm guessing... Like, grenade launcher. Or is it the yellow above next to Sheena's name? I bet that's it. So, yellow above next to Sheena's name matches the yellow time daily. So, if we do that... We'll push his action order way back. High attack, low accuracy. Who cares? Uh... Yeah, you're toast. Holy cow. Oh, okay. He hit for 1,100 hit points, but it looks like our tank has 12,000, so... I am unconcerned. Okay. Okay, so there is, there's two battles in a row. Aerial enemies have a high evasion rate. Weapons with high accuracy are effective. Let's switch placements on the formation screen. Okay. Here you can see the abilities of each of the, again, children placed at the three gun turrets. This is information about the top gun turret. The cursor is placed on the attacker position. Weapon attribute effects and damage depend on the abilities of the attacker. Switch chick who is currently selected with another child. Oh, sorry. Selected. Represents her weapon. Select Kyle with the cursor. Oh, Kyle's down here. Oh, 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 okay. So we're swapping for Kyle. Like this, the guns, the gun turret's attacker has been switched to Kyle. Yeah, that's right. High accuracy, effective against aerial enemies. Switch Sheena with hack. Okay, so then Sheena with hack. So we both have machine guns. Oh, let me test out E. Oh, you can. Okay, never mind. Wait. Uh, okay, it doesn't really let me do much from there, at least not at the moment. Confirm this formation. It'll be locked for three turns. Okay, so once you set a formation, you gotta lock it in. That's fine. Yup. 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 Oh, jeez. Okay. High attack, but low accuracy. I wonder if this is going to miss. What if I analyze? 
Oh, it doesn't... This does not tell you much. Oh, no, I hit. He's gonna get one shot. 600 some odd damage total. And we win. Okay. Turns nine, damage received, S rank, baby. Uh, a couple of rusty barrels, a left and a... Okay, an L and an S. What would S be? Or is that like the grade of them or something? Reverting alert to normal. Thanks, Hax. Kind of feel weird to thank him like that. You're not wrong, it's just, well, we need to rely on this tank if we're ever going to catch up to the Tyrannus. Exactly. That's right, we have to stop the Tyrannus no matter what. Okay. Oh, I don't get to keep... Let me keep going. Please? Please? 23 hours earlier. There we stood, I guess. I'm still not 100% sure. Why is the Tyrannus here? I never thought I'd see it again. Looks like it's primed and ready to get right back into the thick of things. Wow. I almost forgot how big it is. Why are these all children? It's huge. It certainly looks a little less beat up than it did a year ago. Like it removed the scratches on its hull all on its own. Well, I think the scaffolding might have had something to do with it. And the people standing on the tank. What a strange tank. Oh, those, those look like adults. So why wouldn't they drive the thing? The reunited children were brought before the Tyrannus, their erstwhile ally on the field of battle. The tank was covered in scaffolding as if undergoing a thorough survey. Okay, as you can see, we've launched a thorough inspection of the Tyrannus, but the door is sealed tight and we can't get in. Do you have any idea why that might be? I don't think any of us even knew it could be locked. <laughs> That's right, I don't think anyone besides us has ever been in the Tyrannus. Let me take a look. What was that sound? I uh, guess it's open now. Perhaps the Tyrannus only allows entry for those it deems worthy. Oh, so the tank is sentient in some way, maybe? Now the door is open, we can finally continue our inspection within the vehicle. I don't get it, there's adults around. Why did the children man the tank? Well-dressed Filanko gentleman and a young lady join them. They appear to be father and daughter. The art style is really cool. The man peered out from under his bandaged face while the girl fidgeted restlessly behind him. Yeah, the art style is cool. So we can finally survey the interior, can we, Canal? I mean, uh, Lieutenant Muscat? Indeed, thanks to the children paying us a visit. Allow me to introduce you all. This is President Shane Muscat, my father. Wait, you're the president's daughter? I had no idea. <laughs> I suppose I never mentioned it. <laughs> and this is my sister, Vanilla. Okay. Allow me to offer my heartfelt gratitude for making the long journey here. Thank you, one and all. Come now, Vanilla. Introduce yourself. Uh, okay, I'm Vanilla. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. I'm Malt, and this is my sister, May. Hiya, I'm May. I'm Hannah. Malt and I are both from Petite Mona. Please to visit... Pleased to meet you, Vanilla. Pleased to meet you both, Hannah and May. My May? Well, I don't want to get in the way any more than I have. Back to my duties. Are you staying, Vanilla? Uh, yes, Father. All right, then. I leave her in your hands, Lieutenant. Understood. Nodding in affirmation, the President took his leave of the depot. Hannah, May, Boron, Sox, and Brits were the first to enter the Tyrannus. Why? I don't understand. While Malt, Kyle, and Sheena remained outside to answer Lieutenant Muscat's inquiries, Chick and Hack arrived late. Fair enough. Sorry for showing up late. Long time no see, everyone. Wah! The Tyrannus! Are you all taking it for a joyride? No, I don't think we are. What? No, no. That moment, something peculiar happened, because of course it did. The doors of the Tyrannus all suddenly closed tight. With no warning. Uh-oh. What the? Lieutenant Muscat, we can't open the doors. Huh? Is anyone in there besides the children? No, we were still readying the equipment. Only the children are inside. In the midst of the commotion, each turret on the Tyrannus stirred and made ready to fire. They all trained their aim straight ahead on the entrance of the depot. This is bad. Quickly, everyone, get away from the Tyrannus! 
Kabloomy. As soon as the lieutenant issued her warning, the Tyrannus opened fire. The doors of the depot were blown apart, and fragments of the ceiling and walls collapsed as they lost their supports. Well, this seems just great. The Tyrannus slowly advanced out of the depot, its turrets never ceasing their fire. The tank continued its exodus unimpeded, shredding apart every Gasco tank and structure in its path. Why? Shino, where's everybody else? They're on the Tyrannus. No. May. Everyone. No! Father! Vanilla's anguish cry echoed throughout the ruined depot. Uh-oh. Oh, it's time to go. Her gaze was fixed on the government state house where the president had returned, now consumed in a sea of fire. Father, his office. Is he really in there? No. How could this have happened? I'll mobilize a unit and search for the president. Malt, you and the others get Vanilla somewhere safe. Understood. Come on, Vanilla, follow us. Okay. What is going on? The children hunkered down near another depot that had escaped the inferno caused by the Tyrannus. They each took a deep breath and collected themselves before discussing their next plan of action. Is everyone all right? Anyone hurt? I think we're okay. We need to hurry and chase after the Tyrannus. Hannah and the, other, Hannah and the others are still inside. Right, but how are we supposed to catch up to it? Hmm. This can't be. Father, I'm not letting this happen to you. Vanilla, are you okay? You want to follow that tank, don't you? Um, yeah, that's right. If we had a way to chase after it, we'd set out right away, but leave that to me. I might know a way. What is going on? Oh, the other tank. Okay. No way. Is this the Tarascus? Vanilla led the others to a depot that held the Tarascus, the enemy tank they once bested on the battlefield. The children were mortified to see their former nemesis before them. Why is the Tarascus here? I thought we destroyed this hunk of junk. The wreckage was gathered for further study, and before long it had fully repaired itself. Wait, it fully repaired itself? Then why the scaffolding? At least that's what my father and the military said. They think it might even be fully operational again. Fully operational battle station. I see. Well, the army's got its hand full at the moment, and I don't see anyone else around. Hey, you sure about this? I am. We have to stop the Tyrannus and save everyone. You're right. I'm going too, even though I look like I'm about seven years old. Me too, even though I look like I'm about five. Me three! I look like I'm about five as well. All right, move out. Filled with determination, the children made a run for the Tarascus, but they heard Vanilla cry out from behind them. Please, take me with you. It's probably better you stay here. We're setting out to do something really dangerous. Apologize to Lieutenant Muscat for us using the Tarascus without permission, would you? Very well. Be careful out there. Don't worry. We will. Nothing. I just... Incredible. It's set up almost exactly like the Tyrannus. We should be able to make do with this. And it looks like it's ready to go. All right. Everyone, after the Tyrannus. Oh, is that where I am right now? I just put two and two together. Okay, they all say let's go. We have dude in the middle who looks like he might be... Mm, what do you think? 14, 15 years old? Uh, to the left, we have like a 14-year-old. Then we have a 10-year-old and a couple of 5-year-olds. This should go really well. Scaffolding penning the great beast collapsed, shattering as its steel treads clambered over their remains. Piloted by the ch children, the Tarascus plowed through the sea of fire and rubble after the Tyrannus. I like the name. You don't have to keep showing me the logo as if I just completed the prologue or something. Ah, back to the present time. Mm. I know the Tarascus isn't running at full capacity yet, but we'll never catch up to the Tyrannus if we don't get a move on now. Please stay safe, everyone. I did see a turbo mode option. Could we use that? Advance. Yes, he enabled turbo one. First, I want to get my healing on. Oh, it's just... Okay. That was quick. 
a repair kit and an energy cell, and a new attack. This is the enemy's armor rank, which represents their defense power. This enemy has a high armor rank, which makes it difficult to damage, so let's use Kyle's skill. Select Piercing Shot from the Skills command to attack. This skill lowers the enemy's armor rank by one. Three hit attack with one armor rank decrease on an enemy. Piercing Shot, one SP. He's got 50 SP. I wonder if that's for the entire run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The enemy's armor rank has been lowered. In exchange for consuming SP, you can gain the upper hand in a battle by using skills well, so give it a shot. SP can be recovered at recovery waypoints along the route and also by clearing chapters and using recovery items. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna go with the machine gun. Oh. Maybe not. Uh, what skills do you have? Oh, same thing. Armor rank of one. So what does this do? Okay, same kind of thing. Let's cancel that. I'm just gonna go straight with, wait, items. Oh, okay. What does defending do? Oh, no, wait, let me at least... You stupid thing. I wanted to know what it was gonna do first. All right, took them down. Okay, perfect. Iron scrap. Love iron scrap. Uh, let's advance. Recover some SP, I think. Oh, is SP shared? So you only get 50 for the whole, the whole crew, perhaps? Battle start, one of two. Uh, okay, so we got one with a really high armor rank. Now I want a red... So wait, hold on. Let me go into formation here real quick. Oh, I don't have anything super great. Let's just switch these out because it seems like these machine guns are better against flying targets and not great elsewhere. Yeah, you can lock that in. That's fine. So we'll use the grenade launcher on this guy to push his attack back. But then that's going to get to attack, period. Wait, what? What is it doing? Burrowing in the ground? Alright. Okay, so we delayed that guy. Uh, so then let's... Ah, I was hoping to destroy that guy this turn. I think we destroy this guy. Because if we do a... I could hit this guy with the machine, with whatever it is, the, uh, hold on. Nope, stop it. Oh, lullaby. Okay. Never mind. I was gonna say I could hit the lower guy with the two armor, with the special shot to degrade armor, but then they're both gonna get to shoot at me. This way, at least only one of them gets to shoot. And it's not even really doing that, it's just kind of burrowing in the ground. Which does seem to reduce the damage I'm doing. Oh, I missed. Uh-oh. 1,300? Yikes. Okay, that's that. Got him. Now we have a second attack, though, right? Oh, no, that was. Sorry. Oh, nope. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was right initially. So let us... Oh no, am I locked in? I think I'm locked in. Oh, no I'm not. Perfect. What do you mean? I thought I was... Oh, not three battles, three turns. Okay. Ouch, ouch, ouch! Yeah, that was my fault. I think I could have picked a better target. Like this time. I'll pick that guy, pushing him way back. And you can hit 40%. Oh, that's not a great... Yep. Yep. Not good. Not good. 100%. Wait. 
Let's push that guy back so we get more attacks in. And now let's destroy him. Come on. Oh. Do I get one more attack? Oh, I do. Perfect. That works. Oh, A rank? No. Ooh. Okay. Rank up. Rank up. Rank up. Rank up. Rank up. Rank up. Love it. So I guess there's five children on board. Uh, let's advance. I like how to get stuff. I'm just running over stuff. Just destroying it. Okay. The Tarascus looks just like the Tyrannus, right? I guess that's why driving it is like slipping back into a warm glove. I'm surprised it still works after we destroyed it a year ago. We'd better run a check and see which parts are fully operational. This is where you can upgrade the tank and interact with the children. <laughs> the children. As you progress with the story, various facilities and functions can be expanded. Hack, go explore the Tarascus a bit for us. Me? I mean, sure, yeah, I can do that. Select hack from the character switch screen. Switch character, yes. Control hack to explore the interior of the Tarascus. Oh, okay. It seems we have a rod we might use for scrap fishing as well. Peculiar, don't you think? A frightening instrument of war with room for a fishing spot. Yes. By scrap fishing, you can obtain various material materials to upgrade the Tarascus's weapons and HPSP in the workshop. So wait, you just... Oh. Oh, never mind, I can't... Oh, I'm supposed to talk here. Never mind, I'm sorry. Mm. Workshop looks basically the same as the one on the Tyrannus. With the right materials, I bet we could fix this baby up right. You can upgrade the Tarascus's weapons, HP, SP, and more by collecting the necessary materials. Is that it, or am I talking to everybody? I think I'm talking to everybody. Kitchen looks good and ready to go, too. If we need some cooking done, you know which girl's the right one. The one to cook up something awful, maybe. Oh, hack. Hey, I can tell you're thinking some mean... Something... I can tell you're thinking something mean, you know. Jerk. By making meals with gathered ingredients and eating together, the children's abilities and resistance will temporarily increase. Once again, why is it children? Mm. So what's the verdict on the Tarascus? Uh, oh. This thing's so much like the Tyrannus, it's almost scary. I, I'm not scared of nothing, though. Just so you know. <laughs> uh-huh. I bet. Select Malt from the Switch character screen. Uh... Since the character in control gets the most experience, try switching them as needed. The intermission will now conclude. All right. Whoa, what's with all the lights? Oh, is that because it's nighttime? I can't stop once I start, by the way. It's like I can't, I'm hitting space bar again and I'm not stopping. Fuga 2, Melodies of Steel. Uh-oh. Approaching target objective Tyrannus. Finally, the children had the Tyrannus within their sights. The air was thick with tension as they approached the rogue vehicle. What should we do? If we just keep chasing them, this will never end. For now, let's just worry about closing the distance. The Tyrannus is rotating and assuming an offensive position against us. It's doing what now? <laughs> Maybe they don't know that it's us in here. Maybe they're not in control of it. If these things are sentient or something. Mm. We don't even know if Hannah and the others are controlling it at this point. Yes, he. Yeah, maybe they're just trapped in the Tyrannus. That must be it. There's no way Hannah and the others would ever do anything like this. Then who the hell is controlling the damned thing? Watch your mouth. Ouch, what was that? Incoming fire from the Tyrannus detected. Yeah, I detected that too. No way, are they really firing on us? Ugh, what should we do? Well, we should fight back a bit. Oh, an incoming transmission. Well, they don't look so good. Wow, it's Hannah and the others. 
But I sense something wrong with them. Like they're not themselves. Okay. Hold on. Did May just disappear? The Tyranna seems to have engaged its teleport functionality. Teleporting? What the heck does that mean? Well, it means she's about to be here. I didn't realize the Tyrannus could do anything we didn't already know about. Ruh -roh. This doesn't seem good. Look, it's May. Where is she? Could that be the Soul Cannon Chamber? The Soul Cannon. N no, what should we do? The Tyrannus has drawn closer and is readying to fire on us. Maybe we should take up an offensive stance of our own? Wouldn't that be something? Okay, I thought we could stall the Tyrannus by attacking it, but I didn't realize May would be in the Soul Cannon Chamber. What is the Soul Cannon Chamber? If we engage in combat, it might fire the Soul Cannon. We can't fight against it. Soul Cannon, stand by, loading energy into Soul Cannon Chamber. Proceeding with Soul Cannon firing sequence auto-targeting mode on. Is it really gonna fire the Soul Cannon? Initiating Soul Cannon countdown. What should we do? It's gonna fire! Three. We can't just attack it. Everyone's in there. I guess we can. Oh, never mind. On the defense. Selecting defend will reduce the damage for one turn. Yup. We'll just do that. Do I have- I don't have any other options here at the moment. Do I don't want anyone to get hurt, but if we don't fire on them, May's going to- I still don't have any other options. One. If we attack them, we risk injuring Hannah and the others, Damn it! What do we do? We can't stop the Soul Cannon. Reading the accumulation of extreme levels of energy. Deploying the manage arm to intercept the what? Manage arm? What is that? Is that a giant cannon on the side of the Tarascus? Don't fire. All our friends are still aboard the Tyrannus. Tyrannus, Tarascus, Tarascus, Tyrannus. Extensive damage. The order to stand down is denied. Malt, I think he's really going to fire on them. Is this our only option left to protect everyone? Do we really have to resort to this? Evidently we do. Whoa. The Manage Arm is Tarascus' devastating ultimate weapon. It can only be used once every battle. The child you select will be temporarily knocked out. <laughs> wow. I'm still confused as to why it's children in here. Select. Okay. No, May. Oh, geez. Uh-oh. That didn't go well. Damage output from the manage arm will not be enough to halt the enemy's attack. Imminent attack incoming. Two seconds to soul cannon impact. Well, at least we had that two second warning, darn it. Okay. This can't be happening. Wait, where am I? Am I dead? May? That's right. What happened to everyone? <laughs> They're not here, as a matter of course. Surely you don't wish for them to meet their end thusly. What? Who the hell? Who are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm amazed that someone like you could enter this place. You seem to have abilities not unlike those of Janine. Yeah. 
Sorry, Genie. You know, Genie, tell me who you are. It would appear you have reached an untimely end, a most undesired fate indeed. To alter your fate, you will need to make another choice. Malt has been endowed with a mysterious ability that will allow him to rewind time. Okay. To use his ability, select rewind, select retry from before the last intermission. What the heck is going on? Is this real or am I dreaming? Consider this a dream if you must. I'd rather refrain from explaining the finer details. Now then, go forth and triumph. Otherwise... Otherwise what? <laughs> this will become your reality. I got the answer. So now what? Alrighty then. Time has turned back for the children. You are now just before the last intermission you played. Now let's retry this intermission. Okay, but we did this already. Target objective, now entering enemy radar range. Huh? What's the big deal, zoning out like that, Malt? Sorry, what's the big deal, zoning out like that, Malt? Can you blame him? We're all pretty worn out. N not me, I'm not tired one bit. I'm five years old. Oh, really? Then why were you dozing off a second ago? Hey, come on, Tattletail. You're all alive. Should we not be? Man, I know you're tired, but pull it together. We've almost caught up to the Tyrannus. The Tyrannus? We fought the Tyrannus and lost. May was fired from the soul cannon, so a child had their soul ripped out by a gun and fired on my... Yeah. No, I don't remember much else, but I won't let any of it happen again. We have to save May and the others this time. Let's prepare as best we can. None of the other children, save for Malt, will be aware that they have gone back in time. Experience gained in battle before the time slip will also be lost, makes sense. However, raising the children's affinity and upgrading the Tarascus during the intermission phase will offer greater chances to claim victory in battle and avoid meeting a tragic end. No. Malt, if there's something on your mind, I'm all ears. I appreciate it, Kyle. Increase the affinity between two children by talking to them. Use Malt to talk to Kyle. I don't even want to think about the Tyrannus going crazy. Let's just catch the thing. Okay, increases attack, increases damage against aerial enemies. Perfect, I guess. The children's support effect the children's support effects in battle will increase along with their affinity. This icon will appear every time they reach a certain point. This is your chance to trigger a link event. Talk to Kyle with the characters who I whose icon is displayed. A link event. High five. What, are we getting married? All we can do for now is stand and fight, Lost Kyle. Up. Whoa, now, where's this coming from? I'm here, aren't I? The army poured over this tank, but no one could get it up and running. For some reason, we're the only ones who can. That much I know. Still not seeing what you're getting at here. I'm worried that maybe we're too accustomed to all this fighting. I mean, we did fight in a war and all. I'm not worried that we got good at it. I'm worried that we've almost stopped questioning it. Mm. Don't know about that. Maybe you're just stressed out. Oh. Yeah, maybe you're right. Malt. That's it? <laughs> wow, okay. Link attack acquired. Link events occur when children above affinity level 2 talk to each other. When a link event is triggered, the affinity between children will increase and their link attacks become available in mm. battle. It doesn't seem like any enemies are around, so let's check out the Tarascus a little more. Uh, okay. The remaining action points during the intermission is displayed at the top left of the screen. Make good use of the limited action points to strengthen both the children and the Tarascus. So if I talk to you... Damn it! Is everyone okay? Okay. That's it? So if I talk to you again, does that get even stronger? Chance to deepen your bond. What do you think about Pharaoh? Oh. Uh... On its way to a new golden age? Yay! 
Oh, get to level three. Aw. Okay, I want to see what happens at level three. Always time for a bit of scrap fishing, yeah? Look at that. Increases attack, damage against aerial enemies. Raised affinity to level three with an ally. The city of Pharaoh might have gone up in a sea of flames, but I hope its people survived. Okay, so just talking to them at random. Hope I was mistaken, but I sensed hatred welling in the Tyrannus. Okay. Chance to deepen your bond. My, I still have plenty of work to do. Uh, I'll help you. I don't know if there's a right thing or a wrong thing to do there. Oh, a link event. I still have no idea what those are. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay? Did your mother teach you how to use spells? She did. Our family has long been adept at spells. I was able to control the no-no <laughs> without much training. This no-no thing is where spells get their power, right? People have to train to use it? You might better understand it as learning to converse with the no-no. It seems my mother and I learned to communicate with it without much prior training. Are there a lot of people who can use spells? Never saw anyone co who could around Petite Mona. There are reasons that may be so. In regions with many spell wielders, some despise our very presence. That's awful. I understand why they might feel a certain, certain ways about people who can do things they can't, though. But yes, because of this, many of us live in hiding, finding communities of those like ourselves. I never knew. This is weird. Okay, so I have two link attacks. Like, can I talk to everybody to get enough link attacks? Or what if I began the assault? What would happen there? I know I had more points, but is it an automatic loss unless I spend them all? Okay. Combat range again. Children had Tyrannus within their sights. Thick with tension. Got it. What should we do if we just keep chasing them? Okay, we did this already. Offensive position. Soul cannon time, I guess. Controlled, what do you mean? You're right. Must be some sort of spell, right? Who cast the spell? Kablam. Incoming fire, yes, I detected that too. Are they really firing on us? I think we can skip this. Yeah, we, we did all this. Ah, I've seen all this before. But I sense something wrong with them. I can't let this happen. What's gonna happen? So she's just gonna go to the soul room no matter what. Okay, she goes into the soul-rending chair of doom. Okay, where is she? Could that be? Soul cannon chamber, they can't. We already did all of this. What, what is gonna change? Okay, it's counting down five more turns. Oh, so I at least get a chance to attack now? By turning back time, the children are forced to fight the Tyrannus once more. Hesitate, and the Tyrannus will use the Soul Cannon, which will lead to an unfortunate end. Now let's damage and disable the Tyrannus from fighting and try to rescue the children. Okay. I can feel May. We have to get her out. Damn it. Isn't there something we can do to snap her out of it? Seems to be under control of a powerful hypnotic effect. Then wouldn't damaging it from the outside bring her to her senses for a while? Uh, sure. All right, then. Let's focus our attack and bring May back to us. How do we focus our attack? In order to emerge victorious, utilize all the abilities of the Tarascus and the children. Aim for May's chamber. Okay. Use link attacks. Okay. Matt, Malt, and Kyle... Okay. Jeez. 
Okay, so if I go in here, who do we have? Who are these? Who is this? Sheena and Kyle. So I want to put Kyle down here along with, right? Sheena, Kyle. No, I want... All right, I'm a little confused. Oh, wait a minute. That's Malt. Okay, so there's the link attack. It showed up. I think that's that heart. Uh, didn't we have... Oh, I thought we had another link attack capability. Oh, it was the same person. Okay. Okay, let's return to the battle. Sure, I guess. Um... Okay, decrease on the soul chamber. That's what we want. We'll use a link atta attack on all enemies and decreases the armor rank. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Your gun is down. Grenade launcher or moderate hit point recovery. Uh, let's... How do I cancel? Let's use the grenade launcher. Decrease the armor rank. That's perfect. An awakening chance comes when the hit point is reduced up to the mark on the hit point gauge. Awakening chance can break through the mind control on the other children with the power of words, giving you an edge in battle. What? On Earth. May. May, it's me, your brother, Malt. Turkey, turkey. She won't listen to me. I wonder if there's something I can say to snap her out of it. Uh oh. Grandpa and Grandma, I'm leaving with. <laughs> you know? I don't think it's gonna be, I'm leaving without you. Was that good? Malt? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> That's right, May. It's me. Error. Interruption. Okay. May temporarily came back to her senses, immobilizing the Tyrannus. Choose the best option based on the nature of your opponent for a successful awakening. Generally, you probably don't want to select, I'm leaving you. I'm just going to leave you here. Auto repair, full hit point recovery. What? Oh, that is all kinds of not fair. Push it back! Okay. I don't... Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Uh, cancel. Formation. Yeah, can we switch you guys? That, I think, is going to work a lot better. I think that will work way better. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Come on, hit it harder. Uh oh, I think it's gonna like. I think it's gonna. I think we need to use the manage arm. The manage arm is a devastating weapon that absorbs the children's energy and inflicts great damage on all enemies. The selected child will be knocked out. Experience. Uh, okay, maybe not. That just sounds so brutal. Knocking the child out? Four more turns. Oh. Oh, well, I can take you out. See, look, another opportunity to break, right? Awakening, sorry. Another opportunity to wake up. May, stop it, you're gonna hurt yourself. Uh, no good, she's not responding. Isn't there something I can say? Do as I say. I'll save you no matter what. That seemed good again. Malt? That's right, May, it's me. Interrupt Soul Cannon Countdown. Oh, this Soul Cannon is in some trouble right now. Oh, stop it. Um, yeah. I don't want to get shot. I missed. And 
now it's gonna get to shoot me. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, two would hit attack on the enemy. Yeah, let's do that. That was pretty good. Three hit attack on all ground enemies. Do that. Moderate. No, what's the... Oh, I must have put that person away, didn't I? All right, let's just attack. Yep, three more turns. I get it. No, stop it with your full hit point recovery. Jerk. I don't think we need... Oh, wait. Wrong, 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 wrong. There we go. Okay. Much different outcome. But we actually got to try this time. Oh, look at my S tier. Oh, my technique was only a B. Level up. Attack that extends the duration of an enemy's delay. Ooh, I like that. View details. Details of what? Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. All right, it stopped firing. Let's close the gap while we can. What the? Uh oh. What? Just as Draskus drew closer, the silent Tyrannus became wreathed in a bright light. Wreathed in flame. Is the Tyrannus glowing? The damaged gun and hull of the tank are rapidly repairing themselves. Through some unknown force? Nice. The light that enveloped the Tyrannus spread to the Tarascus, and both tanks were illuminated in unison. Coming into contact with a self-repair field gave the Tarascus some of the Tyrannus's functionality. Limited teleportation access, okay. Wait, May's in the Soul Cannon Chamber. Does that mean we can bring her back here? Do that. Okay, if it's possible, do it. Hold on, are they really going to fire the Soul Cannon at us? Didn't we do this already? We're out of time. We need to teleport May over here. Understood. Accessing teleport. Come on. The light breathing the Tyrannus and Tarascus blazed ferociously bright. Okay. At the same time, photons began gathering inside the Tarascus. They teamed together to form a mass of light the size of a child. Okay. Oh, I am confused. What? Look! Oh, there she is. She's gonna hit the ground pretty hard. She did. Is that you? I can't believe something like this is possible. As long as May is back safely with us, I'll gladly believe it. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Can't believe it. Uh, wake up. Maybe I should put a little makeup. Look, she moved a bit. Thank goodness she doesn't look hurt, but let's get her somewhere where she can rest properly. While the children celebrated the surprising return of May, the Tyrannus slowly rotated, turning away from the Tarascus. Look, what's the Tyrannus doing? Hold it right there. You're not getting away. Mass energy consumption has left our systems overheated. Aha. So we can't do anything. That makes sense. Looks like we're stuck. Damn it. Fine then. We'll catch back up to them before long. Right. We've saved an ally from the brink of death. Immobile for the time being, the children rejoiced in their victory. Okay. Well. Fuga 2. Melodies of Steel. The interesting thing is, I can't pause. I can't, like, I cannot do anything except for the buttons that it's telling me 
I can use. Oh, I can skip. What if I skip? Does it skip everything? Oh, shoot. It uh, That was chapter one. It just skipped the whole dialogue. <laughs> okay. So that is Fuga 2, Melodies of Steel. Um, I'm not sure what to think. It does have absolutely some uh, some Ring of Red similarities for sure. Uh, why are the children on the tank? Why aren't the adults on the tank? That's a little confusing to me. Maybe I will watch a synopsis of Fuga 1, Melodies of Steel, or Fuga 1, whatever it was called. Anyhow, I would like to thank anyone and everyone who decided to check out this video, because this one is a little bit further outside my wheelhouse than I normally go. But I really do appreciate anybody who decided to check it out. And you guys will see my gameplay, and you'll hear my voice on the next one.